Hi Davenport, this is Morgan. On the bus this week there are some amazing Martin Luther King Jr. drawings, some cardinals, and an awesome staff showcase. There is a great survey and there is a reminder to visit the awesome found if you have forgot something or lost something here at school. And now, be quiet so you can enjoy the buzz. Hello, Davenport. This is Top Stories with Staley and Remy. We are going to tell you about STEAM. STEAM is a before school activity that a few people from each second, third, and fourth grade class were chosen to participate in. Second grade goes on Tuesday, third grade goes on Wednesday, and fourth grade goes on Thursday. The letters in STEAM stands for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Each week they do challenges like building houses out of provided materials like Legos, Play-Doh, blocks, and straws. Great, Great job, you guys! This is G, this is G, this is Martin Luther King G. Bonjour, Davenport. This is Tenley and Morgan with Mrs. G's classes, drawings of Martin Luther King Jr. Mrs. G led them through a directive drawing to draw Martin Luther King Jr.'s head. They sketched his head with a pencil, then colored it in. Next, they painted the background. We interviewed Elena and EJ from Mrs. G's class. Here are the interviews. What is your name? EJ, what did you make? A, a directed drawing. Why? He was a good man. When did you make them? This week. Thank you. You're welcome. What is your name? Elena. What did you make? My friend was a King Jr. Why? Uh, it was a comedy. When did you make them? This week. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Brown! Good morning. We are here with Mrs. Brown, whose job is a principal at Davenport Elementary. Thank you for joining us, Mrs. Brown. Thanks for having me, Kylie. Where did you go to college? I went to college at many different places, but I started at Western Illinois University. I also went to Ball State University and Bradley University. Tell us about your family. I am married to a wonderful man named Aaron, and we have three children. Liam is in sixth grade, Cal's in third grade, and Vivian's in first grade. Do you have any pets? We do. We have a cute little bunny named Cuddles. What are you currently reading for enjoyment? Oh my goodness. This is a hard one because I, I read all the time. See? And I have lots and lots of books that I'm reading at the same time. But right now I'm reading a growth mindset book on math, and I'm reading a book about asking questions. If you could meet anyone, who would it be and why? Oh. I would pick uh, Mother Teresa. Um, I love that Mother Teresa was a servant leader, and I just think it would be great to meet her. What interests do you pursue outside of school? I like to do puzzles. I like to shop. I like to hang out with friends and family, but I don't get to do that as much right now. Um, I like to work out, and I love to read. What punctuation mark best describes you? Definitely an exclamation mark, because I'm excited about all things. Where would you go in a time machine? Okay, this is the one I've been excited about. I would go past all of this COVID stuff. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? I would spread empathy dust. Do you know what empathy means? You do now because we talked about this. So empathy is the ability to put yourself in someone else's shoes. And I think that's very important. Instead of judging people, it's the ability to actually be in their shoes and walk a, a foot in, or a step in their foot, feet, foot. Steps, shoes. 
List five adjectives that best describe you. Oh my goodness, I don't remember this one. Um, I would say, what did they say? Joyful, um, energetic, kind, adventurous, and I don't remember. Do you remember? Positive, caring. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mrs. Brown's family. Mrs. Brown's pet bunny cuddles. Have a great week, y'all. What is second grade's my favorite snow activity? Building a snowman. Sledding. Ice skating. Or snowball fight. Building a snowman, one. Sledding, eight. Ice skating, four. Snowball fight, ten. Snowball fight win! What is Mrs. Gupsison's favorite happy place to visit? My favorite happy place is... A. Home. B. Colorado. Or C. Florida. C. Florida. Florida wins. Have a great week, peeps. Hey, Davenport students. I'm Cooper. Jersey. And there's many stuff at the lost and found. Like a jacket. Where are you going to wear when it's cold outside? And this jean jacket, what, what are you going to wear when you want to be fashionable? What about some gloves? Your fingers are going to get frostbite. And these pencils, what are you going to use when you do your work? And this lunch box, how are you going to eat your lunch? So come on down to the Lost and Found and get your stuff. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget to come to the Lost and Found. Hello Davenport students, I am Josie and I will be telling you about the weekly weather. The weather is going to be cold. I wonder if we'll get any snow. Okay, let's look at the weather. On Monday, the high is 32 and the low is 27, mostly cloudy. On Tuesday, the high is 33 and the low is 22, cloudy. On Wednesday, the high is 33 and the low is 29, mostly sunny. On Thursday, the high is 39 and the low is 26, with few showers. On Friday, the high is 29 and the low is 15, partly cloudy. So, why did the weather ask for privacy? I don't know, why? It wanted to change. Davenport students, this is Katie and Lucy. We are going to talk about Mrs. Simpkins cardinals they made. Did you know that cardinals are a state bird? And if you keep seeing a cardinal, it pushes you to follow your dreams. Now Polly and Jason are going to tell us more about their cardinals. Hi, my name is Katie and we are here with Polly. And we are going to be talking about their cardinals they made. What did, when did you guys make? Uh, 
uh, a while ago during winter break the last day. I'm sorry, the last day before winter break. What did you use to make these? We used paper, scissors, glue, googly eyeballs, and white crayons. Did you have fun making these? Yes. Thank you. F thank you for having me. Hello, my name is Lucy, and we are here with Jason. And he's going to talk about their carnals they made. When did you make these? Um, Before winter break. How did you make them? We used paper and we only teared, we used scissors and we used white crayons. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Have a wonderful day. January 19th to 29th, map testing. Looking forward to Jump Rope for Heart on February 18th to the 19th. Have a great week! Hello, Davenport students. This is Jordan. Yesterday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Did you know that Martin got people of color the same rights as white people? He was sadly assassinated on April 4th, 1968, and we celebrate his birthday yesterday. Hello, Downport students. This is Claire, and today is National Popcorn Day. National Popcorn Day is celebrated as a sweet or salty snack. It is also celebrated as a satisfying and munching snack that you can eat during the day and all day. It can be buttered or plain. I like mine buttered. The, 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 that's all, folks.